Well, Russia's responsible for anything the Syrian regime is doing. That's according to the U.S. State Department. So can we blame for all manner of accusations? Take a listen. I'm not saying it's Russian planes or Syrian planes. It's got to be one or the other. And even if it's not Russian planes, if it's just Syrian planes, as we've said before, Russia bears the ultimate responsibility for the influence that we know they have over the Assad regime. Well, that's the uh, latest in a string of accusations against Russia for its actions in the country. It comes after the State Department blamed Moscow for alleged attacks on Syrian hospitals, insisting that all information comes from credible sources. Gernie Chichikan looks at what kind of sources Washington is relying on. The State Department's John Kirby says he does not know if it was Russia or Syria that hit the five hospitals that the State Department had earlier accused Russia and the Syrian government of hitting in Syria. Kirby attributed the information to various sources. It is not the United States making these claims. It is reputable aid agencies. And you can go look for yourself on the website we of the World... Oh, hang on a second. Let me finish now. I'll let you... World Health Organization or Doctors Without Borders, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. You can turn on CNN today and look at some pretty gripping footage of what's going on in Aleppo. Um, you can read reports out of the Associated Press. Who also at the briefing, John Kirby said some of what he said on the subject of the hospitals came from U.S. intelligence sources, which he said he would not speak to from the podium, leaving open the question, why wasn't the intelligence community able to say who exactly hit what hospitals? The State Department has primarily cited the World Health Organization, which did say five hospitals had been attacked in the Aleppo and Idlib provinces. But the group also said it's not their job to determine who did it or the cause of the damage that the hospital sustained. John Kirby said it could be either Russia or Syria because, uh, because coalition planes were not flying in those regions at the time. Russia has denied allegations that it had hit the hospitals mentioned in the World Health Organization report. I mean, when you, when you saw uh, the, the State Department uh, spokesman John Kirby today saying, well, you can see it on CNN. Well, you know, CNN is following the State Department lead uh, and is actually actively uh, working uh, to shape an outcome, which is and not the one being determined by the Syrian people, whether they're for or against the Syrian government, uh, and it's certainly not one that is uh, in favour of the Syrian government or the or the Russian government for that matter. So, so Kirby's claims uh, about this become very questionable because they're politically motivated. So we're seeing uh, the the growth of uh, unsubstantiated claims by the State Department in particular, uh, and the attempts to. To, to, to bring the U.S. into a direct confrontation and to continue its claim that uh, Syria is, uh, the Syrian government is the cause of all of the problems.